Good morning, bookish friends. Happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, March 10th. Yeah, March 10th. So as you can see, I am dressed up for church. I also have a Target haul to show you. And you might be saying, Drew, you go in Hawaii. Why do you need a Target haul? Well, uh, I needed some bathroom supplies for the trip. So I got those. So, And then I also I wanted a shorter um, charger cord for my phone because the one I have is like 10 feet, I feel like, even though it's probably not. Um, I think this might be the same one I bought last time. I'll have to see when I get home. But I bought myself another charger for this trip, just in case I lose my gigantic one. Um, it's a six feet cable cord one for those nerdy enough to know what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> the one that we have in our car right now that I'm using, I feel like doesn't charge as fast as um, it needs to be. So. I'm gonna do this before people start walking up. Um, so I got some mini toothpaste and uh, shampoo for the trip. And then I also got a giant pack of toothpaste because I was out of it this week. Um, and then the most exciting part of all is I got two books and a bookmark. I'm so excited. I probably shouldn't be getting books this month because of how much I have book haul so far um, but let me show you everything look at this this is the cutest bookmark ever it says book book nerd and it has the pride flag colors and all the colors on it as well so pretty i cannot wait to use this this is my receipt i don't know if you, anyone would care <laughs> So the books I got are new releases. This one just came out on March 5th, so this past Tuesday. And that is Star Wars The High Republic Defy the Storm by Tessa Grampton and Justina Ireland. And I'm super excited for this, even though I can't read this one quite yet, um, cause I'm behind on phase two and this is the beginning of phase three. So once I finish the two books I have left in the phase two, series of the high republic i'll be able to pick this one up so i'm not bringing this to hawaii with me sadly <laughs> and then the most exciting book out of the two not that i'm not a huge fan of star wars so you guys know that uh i saw this on my for you page on book talk and, and then i saw like a post of that has like all the tropes for this book and so i got lore of the wilds by Annalie Sabrina, I believe is the author's name. This is a stunning cover. I actually, when I was at the Writer's Block bookstore last night, I was hoping they will have this book in the fantasy section, but they didn't, but Target did. So this says, a stunning romanticy debut about an enchanted library, two handsome fae, and one human who will bring them all together. What? I'm so excited and look at these pretty end pages. Yes, please. There's little, I don't know if you guys can see them, but there's moon phases on the actual art of the case. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to read this one. And it's super short too, so maybe I can sneak this into my March TBR, even though I've already filmed my March TBR. But yeah, this is my book haul slash target haul that I got from Target, obviously. So thought I wanted to show you my two new books and my bookmark and now I'm gonna wait in my car for a little bit until my friend Liz shows up and then we'll go inside church so yay <laughs> Incredible experience so far. We are going to keep. 
Good morning, bookish friends. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, February, wow, March 11th. And I am on coming on here today to get ready to leave for Hawaii. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we're actually going. This still feels like a fever dream to me, you know? Um, so everybody's getting ready right now. So while everybody's getting ready i'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna be leaving i did brought a couple books with me um so i'll probably show them like at the airport or um maybe even on the plane <laughs> who knows um but enjoy all the b-roll and anything else i film so yay come with us to hawaii Where are we? Snack shop. Where did I went to first? The books. <laughs> Good evening, bookish friends. Welcome back to the channel. I don't know if you can tell by the fan that we have over here and also the outside nature noises. But look, y'all. We have made it to Maui. Look how beautiful this shit is. Oh my goodness. Um, so I wish I went with my brother and my sister when they went exploring because that would be some good B-roll footages. Hey, you can see me on both sides of the mirrors. <laughs> um, but honestly, this view, oh, so stunning. I love it. Um, so anyways, I wanted to say we have landed and made it to Maui. I'm loving the view of it so far. I get to wake up to this every single week or every single day of this week, I should say. Um, I, the one thing I am a little annoyed about is how tiny the apartment is, but that's like the only issue so far. I surprisingly have not got sick yet. It, I mean, it is only the first day, so we shall see later on. Um, but I am very excited to be here. I don't know what we're gonna do. I know we have some plans, but not all of them. And I'm also reading All This Twisted Glory by Tara Moffey, the third installment of the um, This Woven Kingdom series. Loving it so far. I'm like 150 pages in. Might finish it tomorrow or Friday, because I want to take my time with it. But yeah, I'm gonna go inside now because it's a bit chilly for my taste, and then we're gonna do some B-roll footages, so let's go. Good morning, bookish friends. Happy Tuesday. Happy New Book Tuesday. Although I'm not really in the States to post New Book Tuesday, I can still post while I'm in paradise. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> so yeah, we're in Maui right now, see? Aloha. Ah, I am so happy to be here. Um, the only issue I have for complaint-wise is how small the rooms are. And I had to share my room with my brother and I haven't done that since we were both like 10 maybe <laughs> um so i made it to chapter 14 in all this twisted glory by tara mafi i'm really enjoying it um the beginning was super slow like i literally had to restart it twice on the plane ride to maui yesterday and then um so i'm halfway through that and i'm hoping to finish that today or tomorrow um and then my next read is going to be the Prisoner Throne by Holly Black. <laughs> so we shall see how things go today. Right now I'm walking down to the beach. So enjoy. Everybody wave hi. Hello.
Hello bookish friends. So we are back in our little cabin area. I realized that my mom had my actual camera in her suitcase so she brought it up to upstairs with me. Uh, so I will be doing a room tour on that camera and not what I'm doing on my phone. But I wanted to come on here with a reading update and I am more than halfway through in all this twisted glory and oh my goodness there was a sexy time scene in here that I was not expecting to read while I was out at the beach. <laughs> I was reading it and I was just like this the entire time. I was like nobody see my reaction, nobody see my reaction. <laughs> so I'm curious to see if any of my family members have seen it. My reaction to that scene but I have this many pages left so I'll probably finish this today or even tomorrow um and yeah it was really fun at the beach today we we hung out on the beach from 8 a.m till now and it's like 1 30 right now yeah 1 30 and so I'm either debating on scrolling on TikTok for an hour until I fall asleep or read for an hour and see how much farther in the book I can get. Right now I'm on chapter 17 and there's 33 chapters so however many chapters that is left that's how much I have left in the book. I'm scared to finish this one today because this is the third installment of the series and I thought this was the third and final book of the whole entire series because I thought it would just be like a trilogy you know but the author herself said this is the third installment of the saga and that this is going to be a five book series so we have two more I don't know why I was going for we have two more books um coming our way we have book four which is untitled right now I don't even know if it's going to be on Goodreads soon but it's untitled and then we have um book five which is also untitled but I honestly love this cover I can and cannot stop staring at it um I'm curious to see what the color of the cover for book four is going to be because we had yellow, pink, and this is like a purple pink almost. So I'm curious to see if it's going to be like a green or even a black maybe. I don't know. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I made it to part two, chapter 17 of the book, and I have that many, literally this many pages left. And if I do finish this today, I thought... What a fun way to do it on a vacation because I would have to wait a whole year for book four. So I'm nervous to finish this, but we shall try and see if I can finish this. I don't think I'll finish it today because um, I'm honestly really tired from the beach today. Um, but hopefully I will finish this sometime soon. I did brought my other books with me. Um, I had to change up my TBR a little bit because I wasn't sure what I'll be in the mood for. So I brought, I think I picked them up. Oh my goodness, feet. <laughs> so I brought three books. Two of them was my original TBR. The other one was not. So I got my signed copy of The Prisoner Throne by Holly Black. So excited for this finale, but also so nervous for it just because it's the second book of the duology but Holly Black did tease that she has something else coming from Elfheim, Elfheim universe um and I am curious to find out what that is so I really want to read this one next just because I am in my fantasy era um so she did sign it for me that's pretty cool um <clears throat> so hopefully I'll be starting this tomorrow or Thursday if not, I'll be starting The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. Poston, I still don't know how to say the author's last name. I should have brought this today on the beach with me just because it would have been like perfect beach read, you know. Um, but I decided to save this for another beach day that we have coming up this trip. So I definitely will be bringing this. Or I could be bringing Alana the First Adventure, Song of the Lioness by Tamura. Tamara Pierce, Tamara Pierce, I'm so sorry for the name, butchering name. Um, this is the first in a YA fantasy series and 
I'm curious to see if I would like this or not because I've been hearing nothing but good reviews and I cannot believe this book has only seven chapters in this whole entire book. So I'm a little nervous for this one as well just because it's so short but maybe I'll save this for my plane ride home because my plane ride is five hours almost six hours so I feel like I can read this all in that plane ride and if I do love it I really hope I do because this sounds like Mulan inspired it and I love Mulan so yeah just Dis disguise as a boy begins her training on as a page at the palace of King Roland but the road to knighthood, as she discover, is not an easy one. Alana must master weapons, combats, and magic, as well as a polite behavior, her temper, and her, even her own heart. Ooh, sounds so good. I can't wait. I bought this recently, so if I can um, hurry up and edit the vlogs, I'll leave them up above or down below. But yeah, that's my long-winded reading update and my uh, TBR for the trip. And oh, I also got the audiobook of Empire the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. I got my audiobook hold for this. Future me editing me will, um, editing me will put a picture up on my screen here of Empire the Vampire. That's on my spring into reading TBR. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. Good evening, bookish friends. So this is our my room that I'm staying in. Very tiny, as you can see. Um, you come out here. Look, this and Izzy. Where are we doing? Getting ready for dinner. Yes. Look at her room. She has a giant bed. Must be nice, princess. Then the famous bathroom. Here's the outfit of the day. Also, new fanny pack, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's for my camera. You want to tell my YouTube fam what you did on the beach today, not the playing, not the relaxing, what I do for a living. Oh, I read a book. Yeah, she read a book, people. What did you read? The Unhoneymooners. One of my favorite romances. Actually, one of my favorite romance authors. Got to page 12. <laughs> she read a whole 12 pages, people. Congrats, Sis. Thanks. We'll see how much longer it takes you to finish. Say bye. Bye. Until dinner. Good morning vlog. What is today? My birthday. Her birthday. What are we doing? We are snorkeling today and gonna see turtles. Turtles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not taking one home though, right? That's right. We're not taking one home. No, no. Okay. We're gonna do this. Yay. Bye. So party five, right? Yes. Okay, all, together. all right, everyone. Well, hey guys, like I said, it's a lot more pleasant out here. It is going to be a beautiful day. I guess all the weather. It just starts streaming directly into it. It'll be streaming to every boat in the area and the Coast Guard at the same time. Um, remember the boat can just get away as you're screaming. That is the important part. We also have two throw rings in the very back of the boat. You guys are going to see them later. This big one. You don't let things back there. Somebody does go inside today. We'll throw those at you. I'll spin the boat around. We'll pick you up and see how you're doing. I'll um, record that back and forth. I will have to personally take a few photos of you in the water. <laughs> and I call it documentation. Um, but guys, one of my boats out here for 15 years. I've never seen Don't go overboard, Corp. I've never worked on a captain's summit today on this trip. I'm going to say congratulations. You are the first one I've ever seen it happen to. Um, with that being said, we'll support for the whole day. Please remember this.
this. Anytime you're in the vessel, give us three points of contact. That is one, two, and three. Always make sure you're holding on to someone who's both going to be rocking around. So are you if you got to grab someone's hair, someone's jacket, whatever you have to do. Please give us three points. Uh, the boat's pretty quick. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a few minutes. If you want to stand up together view, just make sure you're holding on. If for some reason you want to move around the vessel as we're going quickly, please don't. Flag us down. I will slow the boat down for you. Um, does anybody have any questions at all? Mom, where we're we going now? Pizza for your my birthday. birthday dinner. Yay! Let's go. Also, it's super cloudy today, so let's hope it doesn't rain on us. As soon as I said, I hope it doesn't rain on us. It's raining. Hey, Corbin, Izzy, how are y'all? Fine, Izzy. Good morning, Bookish friends. It's day four, five. We lost track. You want to tell them what just happened? Our umbrella broke. <laughs> it almost actually killed me. <laughs> the way it happened, it happened so slow too. <laughs> um, yeah, so we had our umbrella up to obviously cover us. And then it just ran into Izzy doesn't want Izzy to be in Hawaii. Izzy almost died in paradise, you guys. Well, I guess that's one way to say goodbye to the universe. Well, we thought we would update you guys. Also, I brought my book and Izzy brought hers. We'll see if she reads today. Only 12 pages the other day, so. But yeah, I'm hoping to finish all this Twisted Glory. It is so good so far. I have that much left in it. And I'm excited but also nervous because this is the third installment. And book four does not come out till 2025. So we'll have to see how long the wait is, but literally that much left. So very close to the end. Let's see how it ends. Hello, bookish friends. So I just woke up from my nap today. And I am currently getting ready to go out for our luau tonight for our Maui trip. Um, so I thought it would be fun to pack up my bag with you guys together. And also to come on here and talk about the book that I finished today. And um, what I'm currently reading. So let me, I should have just left it like that. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna remove some of these snacks because I don't need the snacks tonight because we're gonna have a giant dinner. So today we went to the beach today. It was a little bit windy and then on the way home uh, or on the way back to the hotel, we, um, we saw whales just jumping out of the water like it's no big deal. <laughs> um, so on the way home from the beach, so at the beach, I finished reading All This Twisted Glory by 
to Hair Girl Mafi. I don't know why, but I always want to say stop it to here. Um, this is by Tara Mafi. This is the third installment of the series. I really loved it. Gave it five star out of five star, uh, read for me. And I will talk more about this in my March wrap up, but I'm really happy to have read this because not only was this one of my most anticipated reads, it was a sequel that I was excited to read, but it also counts for one of my A to Z letter challenges for A, because it starts with all, of course, and then um, half, and then it also counted for, I don't know what challenge exactly, editing me can put it in, um, I don't know what challenge exactly I put this down for for the TBR tackle challenge, but that works for that as well. So I finished that today on the beach, and it was such a like magical, wonderful time of reading. And so I started on the beach and also read a little bit on the car ride home, The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston or Poston. I don't know how to say the author's last name and I'm so sorry. I am physically reading this one because I figured I will do um, audiobook, physical, audio, physical, because um, I have four books with me. So I'm trying to see if I can get through all four or not. This one can go for... Um, the reading challenge that Mel from Completely Melanie has, and so that is um, to read a book about starting over again, and this one works for that. This was also on my 12 books by 12 friends list. Uh, I believe my friend Lori recommended me this, so yeah. I'm gonna try and save the battery of this, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! <laughs> I just ordered cinnamon toast crunch coffee. What do you get is? Cookies and cream. Dad? I have no idea. <laughs> Mom. Mom. She got the same thing as got a haul when we get back to the hotel room. <laughs> um, but right now we're on the beach where supposedly there's supposed to be turtles. The water's so really beautiful. Honestly. Also, we saw two giant turtles earlier today. Like, you, oh, and a snail. Oh, and a snail. Show up. It was like that. It was moving pretty fast, too. <laughs> I'll see you. Gotta go see you this turn. Bye! Okay, friends. Izzy, how many have we seen? What? Turtles. Uh, three now. <laughs> ready? Ready? Oh my gosh, four or five? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what the heck? The turtles! <laughs> Hi, my dude. What's your dad? Oh my gosh.
how this one's moving is really not. How you doing, my dude? You're so cool. Hello. Oh my gosh, I'm cut off. Hold on. <laughs> Hello, bookish friends. Welcome back to the vlog. Today is Friday. Yeah, Friday, March 15th. My phone has not been charging on this trip lately. I don't know what it is. Anyways, I am here to come on here with a souvenir haul, I guess, because I got a lot. Um, so the first couple th uh, stuff I got, I got two new bracelets. I got these two bracelets today. Actually, not today. I got them like the second day we were here. And I also got this t-shirt from this trip as well. So I got this on the front of the shirt and this awesome design on the back. So I thought that was pretty cool to be wearing. Um, so I got those like the first day. <clears throat> and then today I also got another shirt. I saw the shirt and I thought it was pretty funny. Um, so, oh my gosh. <laughs> And so I got dun, 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 this one. This one says, may the surf be with you. And then it has the place of Maui, which I won't say because I feel like I would butcher it. So yeah, I got this shirt today as well. It's a medium, it's a medium size, so perfect for me. And honestly, there was another shirt that had, um, it was a shark and it said come to the shark side or something like that. I'll have to put a picture here. Editing me put a picture here on the screen for you guys to see the shirt. I saw that shirt and I was like, ooh, it was a decision between the shark shirt or this one. And so I bought this and you'll be seeing this in a video. Um, then I got a new tote bag because they said any purchases made within the store that we went to the tote bag was half off. So I got this cute tote bag that has Maui on it and it has the um, palm tree line. And then inside uh, I got some aw, pretty things inside Wings Hawaii, which was the store we went to to get the tote bag. And then I also got I got these two pens to go on my pen banner. So I have this one that is the well. And then this one, of course, if you guys know me, it says positive fucking vibes. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube, for the cussing. But I saw this and I was like, I need this in my life, especially for whenever I work. <laughs> um, but yeah, these were both $12 and then the tote bag was $8. So I was like, I got that money. <laughs> um, but yeah, I bought these today, which I'm very happy of. I'm so excited to bring those home. And also, I have another, like, bag to use for books and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. Then I saw this art print at one of the stores. I forgot what store we went to. But it's this beautiful art print of wolves. And if you know anything about me, you know I love wolves a lot as my, like, favorite animal also just dogs in general um but we got this amazing art print I'm so excited to hang this up on my wall I just saw it and I was like oh, my inner wolf me is loving it <laughs> and then the last thing that I got because it's kind of bookish I got a bookmark I don't know how much of it you can see and yes I have an, a scratch on my hand but this says probably hard for you guys oh I'm showing you backwards that's why on the front of this it says Maui and it has the cool symbol I guess I don't know if it's a cool symbol but it has this symbol and it came with a little tassel on top and a red bead for it so which is pretty cool because I don't have a bookmark for my paperback books but I do for my hardcovers so I was like I could use another bookmark so 
Um, also, for reading update, I am now reading The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. I don't know if I did a reading update yesterday or not, but I am like 52 pages into this book and I'm really loving it so far. Her writing is just as amazing as I remember it from her YA books, but like more mature, you know? <laughs> this is my first Ashley Poston book as a romance author, so I'm really ex enjoying it for that reason. And also this has, this does have a time jump in here, which I'm not a huge fan of in general. So I'm really shocked that I'm enjoying it. I'm physically reading it, so it's gonna take me a while to actually get into it. But like I said, I'm 53 pages into this book right now. I'm hoping to get to page 100, maybe even 200 in this by the end of this trip, and then finish this on the plane ride home. But yeah, this is my current read right now, and I'm going to go read more because I'm really enjoying it. So, bye. They, they changed the, the categorization of that volcano there, Holly Ark Law. From dormant to inactive uh, because it erupted in 1790 and and erupted 30 about every 30 years in the last in the previous 700 years so about every 30 years it erupts but it hasn't erupted since 1790 um, so you know although if it was glass and you could see through it except for the red hot lava around just below the cloud I think there's a pool of red hot lava in the mountain there above sea level and that's connected with channels to this larger sort of a, a channel system of magma that goes down to the mantle of the earth the liquid rock that's underneath the solid rock and uh and and most of the channels are extending underneath the big island which is about 60 miles that way big island is the island of hawaii which has five volcanoes one of which stopped erupting last in september kilauea now that is the most active volcano in the world although it's currently not erupting so it's active but not live. Geologists use the word active and live if it's erupting. Active if it could erupt with little warning, like a couple days to a couple weeks. So we're, look at the other one. There's another one in there. I just popped one on the ground. If you look at it, you can tell. Dry it out. What is this? That one even doesn't look like it. It looks more like that. So it's a coffee bird. See, one of yours was round, and coffee usually split. See, it's not, it's not split yet. Are you it just try has it? this coating around yeah, it makes it super slippery. You can't eat it. Coffee you berries. They don't taste like coffee. They're not poisonous, but they don't taste like coffee. Yeah. And you gotta chew it to get any caffeine, but it has caffeine in it. All I smell is my... It doesn't smell like coffee, it just smells yeah. like something else. Good morning, bookish friends. We are currently on a hike for... Look at that. The waterfalls. <laughs> you missed it. You missed it. What's the name of this hike, Mama? Uh, this is, I don't know, it's called Hike Maui. <laughs> it's the company that Twin Falls. Is it Twin Falls? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dad knew the answer more than Mom. But, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> is that your song every morning? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Was that a yes? <laughs> Thanks for the interview. Go mama, go mama.
out all day, girls. Let's go, Is. Hey girls, how is it? It's scary. Dad, when? Hey Dad. open heart surgery so he always makes me nervous. Yeah. Wow. It's the fact that you need to go willing to try it. Yeah. taro fields and grow a lot of taro so they we believe hawaiians were not limited by food and how the the land division worked how they where they lived was the chief would be a chief of a district say i don't know we would say maybe seven mile area of coastline maybe eight or nine i don't know and maybe that would be seven valleys or five, ten valleys and a couple would say to the chief hey chief um I got together with this girl and me and this girl, we want to create a family. So he said, okay, you could have this valley. So you follow the stream down where it goes in the ocean. This is your valley. Okay. And so they set up their sleeping shelters um, in their valley. And uh, Hawaiians brought, as I said, 35 plants. <coughs> Hello, bookish friends. Excuse the messy hair. <laughs> you guys are used to this by now. Um, I just wanted to come on here to say we are getting ready. Well, I'm getting ready to go for the luau tonight. We had to cancel our luau last night. Yeah, last night because it was raining a lot. And so we decided to reschedule it for today, which is good because today has not been raining at all. It was absolutely gorgeous outside. I've enjoyed the hike 
even though I won't admit it out loud. <laughs> um, but the hike was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I even jumped off a waterfall. Like what? That clip would be in here after this or before this clip. I haven't decided yet, but you'll see me jumping off a waterfall. I still can't believe I jumped off a waterfall. Oh my gosh, is this a dream? <laughs> <laughs> um anyways we i'm gonna get ready for, to go out from the lookout um it's at 5 30 and it's like four something almost five. Oh, my watch is dead um yeah it's like five yeah quarter to five so i'm gonna get ready go do my hair and then i'll talk to you guys whenever um reading update i have not read a lot in it but I got to page 100 in The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. Uh, I'm physically reading that right now, so really enjoying that, hoping to finish that tomorrow.